Today, we're looking at something called a Pi Top. With this, you can customize your own laptop from a Raspberry Pi board. The Pi Top is a modular laptop that teaches you about programming, computing, and hardware creation while also working like a regular computer. Included in the kit is a Pi laptop, an 8 gig SD card with Pi Top OS, a power supply, and a manual with everything you need to get started. The laptop has a 13.3 inch display, a 10 hour battery life, and uses modular components. First, let me say thank you to OKDo OK for sending this for me to unbox for you today. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and remember to like and comment down below. If you haven't already, consider joining my Patreon or even buying me a coffee to bring you more great content. Now that's out of the way, let's have a look at what comes inside the box and let's put it all together. Here is the PyTop laptop box. It's a nice green color. As I mentioned, 10 hour battery life, 13.3 HD screen and modular components. So let's not waste any time. Let's have a quick look inside the box. That is a lovely green color. <laughs> uh, it is a bit bright, so Pi Top on the top. And this is just the screen. So we have a quick look here. You can see we've got the hinges on the side and what would connect into the case. So I'm just gonna pop this back on here while we dig a little bit further into the box. There is this on the bottom which says look here and it's uh, taped up so well, oh, seems to be some cables in here. Wonderful, so we have some screws and it comes with the Allen keys that we would need to put it together. Some different cables. This looks like USB to US, uh, USB-C to USB type A. This looks like a HDMI cable. And we have servant connector cables in here as well. I'm not gonna go through what all of them are, but you get the idea. And then we have the instruction manual. Uh, this basically tells you how to prepare everything and attaching the lid, installing the computer, etc. So pop that to a side. We have the power cable and the power pack to keep the laptop charged or to charge the laptop. We have what looks like a heatsink. Uh, so I would make the assumption this is probably for your Raspberry Pi. SD card. And she comes as removable, so that goes straight into your Raspberry Pi. And finally, the Pi Top Hub. So this, I believe, goes into yeah. Okay, so this goes inside the laptop itself, and we'll have a look at how to put this all together very shortly. Then, finally, under here is the Pi Top itself. Not quite sure what's under this part, but it feels a little bit heavy on that side. But other than that, it's very light. It's plastic. Um, there isn't really much else to say about this really. Okay, you have some magnetic clips here. So we have the laptop with a touchpad and left and right click just here. What seems like a power button. And if I was to just quickly give you an early demo, pop this on here, I'm guessing that's obviously gonna go here. Perfect, so let's just pop that to the side. And finally, it says look in here. So let's have a little look at what this is. This looks like it sits. So if I quickly pull this back, this looks like this sits just here. First thing to make sure is to have everything laid out in front of you. It just makes everything easier and simple to set up. So the first thing we're gonna do is install some of these screws onto the boards. So what the idea is on the Pi Top board, there's one, two, three, four, five screws on here. And on the Raspberry Pi board, there's one, two, three, four. Now, one thing I didn't mention earlier is that there's no Raspberry Pi that comes included with this. So this is the 3B Plus, and you would need one of these to continue and set this up. So you're gonna need one of these and one of these, and you're gonna screw them in each of them. So what we'll do, I'll quickly show you the first one. We'll pop that down here. So it goes underneath the board and then we screw. Okay, so just to show you that up a bit close, you can see we have the screw on here and it's bolted down on here. So I'm gonna quickly go ahead and complete the rest of these. And that is these four complete. So pop that back down and go ahead and complete the same with this one. So that's all installed on here as well with those four, five. 
installed. Next, then we're going to prepare the base. So what we'll do here is we're going to take these off for the time being. Take them to the side. So same again. So just take them off and put them to the side for the time being. And we're actually going to go ahead and install the lid. So I'm just going to take these and move them to the side for a second. Pop that here. Now you'll notice on the lid that there's these base clips here and where they're basically gonna go is just here. So we need to make sure we slide this in, make sure they align. So bring them out slightly and you feel them go in a little bit. And then you can go ahead and just make sure they're all connected. Best way I found to do it is just lift this up slightly and just push them in and you'll hear that click when they go in. So be sure to keep that here because you're gonna need this momentarily when you connect this up, so leave that there. And you can see now that they're in and we can close this. So make sure it is all aligned on here. And then we're gonna tighten up some screws. So two screws here, we're gonna tighten those up ever so slightly. So don't force too hard when you are tightening these up, just... Okay, and there we go, that is the lid attached to this, so we can open this up, and you can see that that is now installed on here. Next, we are gonna be installing the boards on the laptop itself. So, right at the start, I said to install a screw in this one, but unfortunately, that was my misjudgment. It's not actually that one that we need to install it in. So it's just the four and you can remove this one just here. So what we're gonna do, you've got your pin here. We're gonna go ahead and install this here, like so. And then you've got to push the clips down and then they should clip into place. Now, once you've done that on the back, you've got some sockets just here. You just wanna slot them down in here and push them all the way in. That will then align with the power just here and that is now the screen attached to this board as well. So, same thing this side, we're gonna be installing the board just on here. So we go ahead and pop that in just there and on the reverse we're gonna be installing the screws. So we'll start with this one, then we'll screw in this one. Just before we do that however, there's one screw we need to install here so let's go ahead and install that one. There we go, now that's in. I'm just gonna take this off for a second and I'm gonna to go to the other side. I'm just gonna close that sec. You can probably see that there's four screws in the back just here that we're gonna be attaching those screws to. So these are the little silver ones just here. We're gonna take these and we're gonna go ahead and install them. So let's go one at a time. And there you go, so just as I showed you earlier, these are the four screws that go in. And we're gonna go ahead and install the board on this side as well. So I'm gonna take the Raspberry Pi board, I'm just gonna pop this here. There is one thing I actually forgot to do, so there's an SD card that we need to install. It's not a big deal though, because it just goes just under here, so we haven't closed anything up yet. So take your SD card and just pop it face down under here. And there we go, that's installed and ready to Go. So that's your PyTop OS, you can keep that adapted to the side because you won't need that yet. Now we call in some of the other cables we had earlier. So we can just collect these and pop these here. So we're going to need the HDMI to HDMI. And we're going to need the USB to micro USB. I think I called this a USB-C earlier, that looked like one, but it's actually a micro USB. So what we're going to do we're going to take the USB from here, which is this one just here, pop that in there, and we're going to power the Raspberry Pi here, okay? That's one, and then the next one we'll do with the HDMI as well. We will go from here, which is on the Raspberry Pi, to the board that's connected here. So you can see how this starts making the modular computer um, you're connecting the displays, you're connecting the power, so bit by bit you are connecting it all up together. Next we're going to go from the GPIO pins to this, so that's this one just here, this adapter, so let's open this up. 
we're going to go from here then we can slot this just in here okay that one's uh, that one needs a bit more force going in so let's just pop this in it's easy to do the cable management as you go along there isn't a lot on this but it's easy if you do it as you're going along so just make sure everything's firmly in and lastly is the keyboard itself I say lastly but I think we're almost there so on the back of this we have two connectors on here we have one here and one here one is for the keyboard and mouse and one is for the power button up here so you've got this cable which is the power button so let's just take this we pop this on here okay and then the other side is going to go on there but before we finish installing this one we're going to go ahead and install the keyboard and mouse as well so take this out that we're just going to install just here and then from here you're going to go into a usb socket entirely up to you whichever one you want to go to and then i'm just going to make sure that this is powered in here again do make sure they go in the right way I'm not sure if you can see this but this bottom one needs to go into the the hole just there so we'll pop that in and then we start clipping it down so make sure your cables are out of the way just to show you we're going across and we're clipping these in there's just ball joints and screws here so it just clips straight and there's nothing else to do and there we go that is now all connected up so there was one more thing that we need to pop in which is just here and that was this thing earlier so this is you just take this off it's got a nice pie top logo on it see we don't want to get any nice fingerprints on here so and there we go that's all installed so what we're going to do now is quickly go ahead and power this up there is one thing I actually did forget which is the heat sink so I'm just going to pop this back off and we're going to go ahead and install this so to install the heat sink you would just take this out it shows you on the instructions inside but I'm not going to show you those so you just take the sticker off at the back that's just an adhesive peel at the back and then you would literally just pop this on using a steady hand just pop that on there and that's it it's installed and that's it all installed so i'm going to go ahead and power this up quickly i'm not going to go ahead and run through the setup the purposes of this video was to just show you how it all goes together and hopefully when i press the power button we will see some sort of power up and then just to show you here that it is actually booting up so you can see the keyboard and mouse is set up so it's saying are you ready to be a maker go ahead and click yes what language do you want and that's the pi top laptop let me know if this is something you would use the links to all the products are down in the description below this is inside wire and I'll see you in the next one.